Hello there, welcome to the channel. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a different video than the ones you usually see in the channel. And also the sound is coming from a different setup, so it might be a bit funky at times. Currently I'm in my kitchen making product video and product photography for one of my clients. A, a friend of mine posted something to the Instagram recently and it made me think uh, this unprecedented times, COVID and all that stuff, made a lot of people change the way they make income. Uh, a lot of people lost their jobs. So it got me thinking on how it actually affected me also. <laughs> So I left my job just before the pandemic started. So it actually was not the best time to be going freelancing again, but no one could ever foresee what was gonna happen, that the whole world was gonna be basically stopped. And to conduct a video business without having contact with people is quite difficult, especially if your main income comes from interviewing people and doing documentaries and stuff, you always gonna be around people in closed environments. So that's a bit complicated. The reason I'm filming in my kitchen, basically made my kitchen table into a product, a kind of infinite backdrop. It's because this, although it's limited, it, it allows me to create videos basically on my own with very little help and very little resources. So whatever resources you have around you, use them. Yeah, they might be limited, but this I think will make you more creative and will make you rethink instead of spending a lot of money in renting the studio where you should shoot in or renting big lights and sliders and stuff i'm basically trying to shoot the whole thing in my kitchen table while no one can eat in the table so this is going to be roughly two days uh, shoot so my kitchen is a mess or has been a mess for the last two days this is the last day so hopefully i'll be able to finish at some point today. In my case, it, it is possible to do and, and to kind of still conduct some sort of business and still be able to make an income. My friend actually does wedding photography and wedding videography, so it's complicated for a business like theirs to continue given that all weddings are now officially canceled. And I think you can now get weddings again, but they have to be very small venue and a small amount of people and you have all seen wedding videos and they are cool because there's a lot of people the emotion the groom and the bride and to do that without you know many people you know the video would have to be rethought and maybe done in a different way so if you guys have the time check out my friends at weddingstorytellers.ie Gabriela Alejandro and Angela they are very cool doing photos and videos for your weddings and we can support each other if you're in Ireland check them out if you like what you see try to get in touch with them if you're planning your wedding maybe next year it would be cool to remember support each other in this time of kind of unprecedented changes so if you're in Ireland go check them out you love they have awards and all that stuff they're good trust me so back to this a uh, Basically, my two-day shoot, it's gonna probably finish today at some point. Uh, I'm gonna show you actually, check out this photo here. This is what I've been doing. It's a company that sells tea. It's a tea shop. And they, like everybody else, have to adapt uh, to, to now sell online. So, because the revenue coming from the people going to the shop is going down, the client said, you know what, I wanna sell online. I've seen all the people do it. How complicated is it? And I said, first of all, you need very good photos, very good videos, nice copy, a nice website, and you need an advert to drive traffic to your website. It's not like a restaurant that you just open the doors and if people walk around, they'll see, they can read your menu and they'll go in. Selling online is a bit more complicated. There's a lot of competition and you need to have a good product first of all but you need to know how to sell that good product because if people are not getting to your product then you obviously won't sell anything that's why having good photography for your products and having a nice website and having adverts running in facebook instagram and all those kind of pages google ads and all stuff because this is where you're going to capture the attention of your potential buyer and you 
realistically only have a few seconds. So if this is not done correctly or the best of your means uh, without spending loads, because if you're trying to say restructure a business into going online and you probably, it's a small shop, you probably don't have too much money, you can do it like this on a very small budget, supporting some of your local kind of small businesses. So he's supporting me, I'm supporting him, I'm trying to get him to get more revenue, he's giving me some work, and I don't have to rent a big studio, I can shoot the whole thing in my kitchen, and this way we support each other. The point, what I'm trying to say is, that post my friend Angela put in Instagram, it made me think that we need to try to, first of all, support each other, the small businesses, the self-employed, the creative people, and also trying to target businesses like us. We are trying to find different ways and more efficient ways of creating revenue without having to be in contact with too many people. So in my case, I, can, I have all the equipment so I can obviously shoot uh, from, from my house. I can still do interviews with very little contact. But th I think that's the, the moral of, of, of this video is we need to always be rethinking and how as freelancers and as creators, how we make money and how to make money more efficient. Sometimes you have big budgets, so you can rent a big studio and do kind of more complex uh, camera movements and more complex projects. But chances are, uh, given COVID, people are trying to scale down, spend less money, and they still need business. So this is where trying to scale your productions down and try to do them in whatever space you have available to you and with whatever equipment you own. And don't sweat it, just try to do it. Scale down, do better productions with what you have available. Chances are that the equipment you own, you actually know it by heart, so it would probably be very efficient and very easy. It's second nature for you to create content with the equipment you already own. So that's it for today. I just wanted to give that shout out to my friends at Wedding Storytellers. Uh, Angela made me think with that post. So I just wanted to share what I've been up to basically in my kitchen doing product videos. Take care, thanks for watching. Watch your other videos somewhere around here or here, I don't know. Subscribe to the channel. See y'all later.